What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an extreme clean of my apartment. My pantry is basically empty. I have not had my food supply this low since I moved into this place. Um, it's getting very bad. And I haven't been to Trader Joe's in like two months at least. So I figured I would go grocery shopping and take you guys along with. Today is my day to fix up and clean up the apartment. I usually take a day out of the week to like kind of reset the apartment and today's the day. I had family over this time last week so I did vacuum and clean up um, but it's time to do it again because my apartment is a little bit messy. Um, there's just stuff everywhere and I need to get it under control but the one thing that was non-negotiable for today was grocery shopping because I, I just need to show you. This <laughs> is actually so bad you guys and then i didn't realize how empty my pantry was until i tried to eat dinner last night and this is what it looks like so we are going to go grocery shopping today hopefully it only takes me about an hour or two grocery shopping is one of those errands that i either really love doing or really do not like doing in the moment and today i'm not really feeling it but i know i don't have any other time in the week to do this so we have to get it done today and also i'll show you guys around my apartment because it's not the worst that it's ever been but it's definitely not cute right now i definitely want to try to like wipe down the fridge at some point maybe not today but if you guys know any good stainless steel cleaners let me know because i don't know what to do about this but this is what the kitchen's looking like this is dirty from yesterday night one of the only meals i had left i need to change this i change these every week and they're like little mindful affirmations from Target. They're by the brand Intelligent Change. If you guys do not know, this is the same brand that makes the five minute journal, which I also own. So I love these little cards and I change them every week. So I'm gonna do that when I come back. These are all dirty and these are actually clean. So I need to put them away. Made myself a coffee this morning. Um, as you can see, my bedroom is pretty messy as well. There's just stuff everywhere. I actually bought this ottoman a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week or two ago. I don't know if I showed it on camera. I don't think I did, but I bought it for my t-shirts and my workout clothes. And sometimes like right now I'm wearing my workout clothes. So when I get it, I just don't close it, so this is what it looks like right now. The closet is also pretty bad because I need to do laundry, so that's what it's looking like. This is what the living room looks like, courtesy of Lucky, actually. All these pillows are courtesy of Lucky. He likes to take them and throw them off of the couch every single day when I leave, so sometimes I just get lazy and don't pick them back up, so that's why they're on the floor. I just need a vacuum for sure because of this one. And then the bathroom is relatively okay. I usually keep this area pretty clean. It's normally just the sink <laughs> that gets like this, so I have like all my random medications. I have this, just autoimmune girly problems. I had to put this on yesterday and the day before that and the day before that. <laughs> and the shower is looking all right. I just have to restock and fix it. Actually, I'm thinking about getting Amazon shelves and like sticking them up here and then replacing my shower head. I really want to get a rainfall shower, but I'm not planning on doing that in this video or even uh, in the near future, probably towards the end of the summer, just because it's not a priority. Honestly, by the time I get to it, it'll probably be fall, but it's on my list. And also eucalyptus. I've seen all the girlies have eucalyptus in their shower. But that is the state of my apartment. That is the state of my fridge. Girl, we need to leave right now. So let me put my purse on and let's go. Why are you looking at me like that? I also realized the other day that I have a chip in my tooth, like the front tooth. So if you guys are like, do you have food in your teeth? No. To the store we go. Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know why That was debatably the most anxiety-inducing grocery trip of my life. There were so many people inside of Trader Joe's on like a random Monday at like 1 p.m. I don't know what's going on. I just took a little bootleg nap. My sarcoidosis has been sarcoidosis-ing, you guys. It's taking me a longer time to do stuff, but we are gonna tackle this house because it needs to get done because I have a lot of things to do this week and I don't wanna be working and coming home to a messy place. 
I need serenity and peace in my environment. So I think we're gonna start with the living room and the bedroom only because it is getting late and I don't wanna disrupt anybody with my vacuum. So I'm definitely gonna vacuum first. This is a little bit backwards. Normally I do the kitchen first and mop and sweep and everything. And then I do the living room and the bedroom, but we're flipping it around today because I don't want any complaints <laughs> in my apartment complex because I'm a very good neighbor. Haven't had anyone complain about anything thus far and I've been here for almost five months, I think. So let's not start today. I actually de-shedded the couch last week before my family came, so I don't need to do that this week. I'm gonna try to do it twice a month. I think my dog has something and that's why he's making a lot of noise. What do you have? Oh yes, a sock. Can you give it here? You have toys, like this ain't it. I'm gonna just move everything out of the way real quick and vacuum and straighten up a little bit before I get into the washing of the clothes just so that I can get the vacuum out of the way. So let's do that. I also changed my pants because honestly, I, <laughs> I didn't feel like wearing my leggings anymore. They were too constricting and I need room to move around. So, sis has long hair again, so she needs to be wrapped up. Let's throw a little water on them. I hate feeling edgeless. You guys have been following me for a minute. You know I haven't done my makeup in like so long. I think over a year. I haven't done my makeup in like over a year on like some casual vibes. I think the last time I did my makeup was in October and it was for Halloween and that was for one day. But one thing I will have done is my edges, okay? Feels like daydreaming, no I sit down, none. I love my life, Sara J J man, I chumbo. The chemistry is like no one to do. I'm dead out so damn I done it, I'm getting done now. No need much to done the sunday. Think I go you eh. Uri do say you tell a page. Baby, I can feel it with you Maybe you feel the same with me too Made it, made it, man glazed donut right now but i just finished vacuuming the floor i'm not gonna do the bathroom because i just did it on tuesday and honestly my bathroom doesn't really collect hair and dirt as much as the kitchen floor so i kind of do that one like twice you guys can see that like it's like black streaks everywhere and it's not i don't think this is the dog i think it's me <laughs> um so i'm gonna start not wearing these i don't really wear these unless i'm walking the dog which is probably the problem so i I'm going to switch into some other shoes and I'm going to scrub the floors 
with some Fabuloso and my scrubber brush. I think for my bathroom, I'm just going to clean my bath mats because my dog loves to invite himself into my bathroom and so do my bath mats as if they are his beds and they are not. But I love you anyway, boo. process two of them are almost empty and then one of them is full so I'm so excited I can do all of my loads of laundry that I need to do today so basically I bought this one by accident this is so unimportant if you're not into laundry but ever since I moved out I've been getting real into my laundry detergent I'm really particular about which one I bought I bought the wrong one I don't think it was by accident now that I'm thinking about it I think they were out of the normal one that I get so this is the Arm & Hammer OxyClean odor blaster one Gotta get the arm and hammer with the OxyClean, okay? But the problem is, this one is Fresh Burst. It's this purple one. She's not it. I need this one. So this is the same exact one, OxyClean and all, arm and hammer, but it's in the Fresh scent. I'm not even joking. I can't even tell you how many people have physically come up to me and told me that I smell so good. And it's not even my perfume. It's literally this. Run, don't walk. I'm literally just gonna dump it in here <laughs> so I can finish the rest of it. There's only like one load left anyway of this detergent. And my sheets are not that dirty. I think I cleaned them last week. I think, I can't remember. You know how it is. But I'm gonna put my sheets in here. Um, and this is my, uh, what is it called? Bedspread comforter on top of there because I didn't feel like having it thrown around my bed. So I just put it on top of my dryer. But I'm gonna wash that next only because I'm forcing myself to do my bedding first because I tend to neglect my bedding and not do it until literally the last minute and I'm just sleeping on half dirty bedding. I wash everything on cold. I know that's not what you're supposed to do but it is what I do because I went to college for four years and I used a community washer and dryer and that's just what you did. <laughs> like everybody put their shit on cold because nothing ran none of the colors ran and you could throw like a bunch of shit in there at the same time so i was just washing hella loads of clothes on cold this is not a tutorial i'm just telling you what i do okay i'm just so used to doing it now nothing ever runs nothing ever shrinks as long as i keep the colors like and if you're on a gram stefan tip definitely do your laundry after peak hours right now it's 9 23 p.m so i'm in the window and it's less money for your energy bill Okay, that's enough adulting with Brittany for today. I'm gonna wash this and I'm just gonna start cleaning surfaces around my house um, because I noticed they're a little bit dirty. I don't actually have a duster, which I really need. I need to get like duster and some pledge, but I haven't bought it for my apartment yet, surprisingly. So I'm just gonna use some Clorox wipes, surface cleaner, and some towels to clean the surfaces in my kitchen, in my bathroom, probably clean my sink a little bit. I also forgot that my dishes are clean, so I'm gonna put them away now.
It is 2 a.m. It is time for me to head to bed and get ready for the rest of this week. Thank you guys so much for cleaning with me. I'm glad I was able to get everything done because I'm not gonna lie, if I wasn't filming, I would probably do this over the span of a couple of days. But I got everything done today. I'm so excited. I just have to wash a couple more loads of laundry. I'm probably going to finish them tomorrow. Hopefully within the next couple of months, I'll be able to give you guys an apartment tour. And then when Christmas comes, a Christmas apartment tour? Girl, if you know me, you know Christmas is that time. Y'all are not ready. I have Christmas decorations from literally two years ago that I've been planning on using in my imaginary apartment that is now a thing. So get ready for Christmas time because that's gonna be a fun one in the apartment. But I will give you guys a regular apartment tour once I have everything together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video with the apartment in the state that it's in right now. Thank you guys for cleaning with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.